Today I wanted to demonstrate a sciencey type effect that I find pretty cool, which is based on the concept of electromagnetic induction. So let's get right to it. Now what I have here is a copper pipe and a very strong neodymium magnet. The magnet right now is wrapped in electrical tape because I learned very quickly that if you let two of these get too close together, they will definitely attract one another and slam together with a force such that they will begin to break pieces off of one another if they do it too many times. So the tape just serves to sort of soften the blow if either one of them wander too close to the other. Now copper is an electrically conductive metal, which just means that it facilitates the flowage of electricity, but it is definitely not magnetic. See? But something very interesting does happen when you drop the magnet through the pipe. However, I do need to preface this demonstration by telling you this is just a regular copper pipe I got from Home Depot. This is just a regular neodymium magnet I got off of Amazon. There is no tomfoolery, shenanigans, or wizardry involved. It's just science. <laughs> Alright, check it. Here we go. Magnet pipe. What? One more time. Okay, from the top. Again, there was no tomfoolery involved. It's just science. Also, I like saying tomfoolery. So now on to the explanation as to why the magnet falls so slowly through the pipe when neither one of them seems to be attracted to the other. The reason for this seemingly strange behavior was discovered in 1835 by a Russian physicist named Heinrich Lenz. Lenz's law says that an electric current induced by a changing magnetic field will flow such that it creates its own magnetic field that opposes the magnetic field that created it. Duh. So in terms of the pipe magnet demonstration, what's happening here is that as the magnet moves through the pipe, it induces an electric current in the copper that moves through it. That electric current itself generates a magnetic field that opposes the magnet as it falls. And if that doesn't make much sense to you, then don't worry, you're in good company. Magnetism in general is a crazy quantum mechanical effect that's been magnified so that we humans can perceive it on a macroscopic scale, but it does make for some pretty good uh, demonstrations, I think.